this evening. He was here and popped his cherry on Tuesday with his first time on stage ever. Please put your hands together tonight and give him a warm welcome for Andrew I saw a car in front of me, and it had a window chalk on it. Daddy's little girl, graduation, 2010. I'm a fan of window chalk, and I think we should use it to commemorate other things, everyday things, like Johnny's first day of school, Megan lost a tooth, or even Dad's first colonoscopy, 2010. I also like when I'm driving, and I see a KFC and Taco Bell merged into one building. KFC has a mascot, Colonel Sanders, who is, in actuality, the most racist looking white guy they could have found, and they put him next to a bunch of Mexicans. <laughs> By the way, why is it that when you're driving and you see a bunch of bikers, they're never good looking? It's always like 15 extras from the Pirates, from the Pirates of the Caribbean going down the highway. Lovely crowd tonight, lovely crowd. <laughs> Don't worry, you're, you're, you're all too drunk to get this anyways. You're not going to remember this tomorrow. So, I'm, I'm actually scared of a lot of things. Like, for instance, I refuse to become a registered organ donor because I have an irrational fear that the EMTs who respond to car accidents get paid by commission. Like, what if I'm driving, I get into a car accident, and the EMTs show up? Hey, look at this guy. He's a goner. No, actually, I think I'll be okay. Did you hear that? No. <laughs> get his kidneys, hurry, get his kidneys. <laughs> <laughs> I still can't pee right without them. <laughs> so, is anyone here tonight from out of town? Yeah. So close. Anyone here from out of the country? No? Okay, at least you're all honest. I had a thought the other day, and I realized that you can get away with being a complete pervert as long as you have a cool accent. But, you know, yeah, thank you. This is true. I've tested it. I have. You wouldn't believe the response you get at a nursing home, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Like, like, honestly, you, you, can look, you can look straight at a girl if you have a cool accent like you and ask her to suck your dick and she won't get offended. Especially, have, especially if you have an Australian accent. You'll be like, oh no, well, I'm gonna stick my lucky stick. <laughs> See that? See that? She's not saying anything, but she's thinking about it. She's like, you know what? That doesn't sound too bad. <laughs> now, if I tried the same thing with my voice, Totally different response. There would have been a lawsuit. I would have had to go on a sensitivity camp. It would have been a messy, very sticky situation. <laughs> Anyone here a fan of pooping? Yes. Every day. Anyone here a fan of pooping in public? Yay, every day. Every day? Really? How many times a day? That's good. It's a regular. <laughs> I don't like pooping in public. I really don't. And it's not because like I'm afraid that people are listening to me poop, or like someone's gonna just post it. <laughs> ha! It's just I don't like it because of the mean, hateful things that people write inside the stalls. Really nice. Like the other day, I was in the bathroom in public, pooping as you might imagine, and someone had wrote on the wall, "Steve was here." Nothing wrong with that. It's harmless. Just some man named Steve wanted you to know that he was pooping. Someone else, like a complete jerk, I might add, came in and crossed that out and replaced it with Steve was queer. Which, by the way, is not only me, but it doesn't make any sense. Like, Steve had been gay. 
who did, suddenly had a change of heart and decided to change his ways. And it's never like anybody writes anything nice on a stall. It's always like, fuck you, your grandma's a whore, I hope you die, piece of shit. Thank you. I'm sorry I offended your grandmother. Two pounds, rest in peace. 